The urge to play WoW hits us all at different times, and regardless of the state of the game, you just want to go back. But now there's more than one WoW to play, and they're both very different, so the question of whether you should come back becomes which one should you play? If you're stuck on which side of WoW to put your time into, here's a rough guide on what each is like to help answer the question. Wrath or Retail? Which WoW should you play right now? Classic WoW is for the nostalgic, the grind lovers, those who long for the good old days of Warcraft. The gameplay is simpler, the encounters less complicated, and the community is active. The leveling might be slow, but the Joyous Journey's XP buff makes it much quicker to get to max. And it's actually enjoyable to level in Classic, at least it is for me. Boosting recently took an arrow to the knee, so if that's the reason you were against Classic, fear no more. It also means there's way more players out in the world, which admittedly some people aren't happy about. With Wrath coming in about a month, everyone is preparing their alts, their new mains, the new professions, and everything everything else, so players are everywhere at almost every level, making groups fairly easy to find for questing, dungeons, and heroics. Unfortunately, you'll have to be lucky to get into a raid puck that isn't a GDKP, but with Wrath in sight, TBC raiding isn't 100% necessary. If you do want a raid in prepatch though, coming August 30th, joining a guild is your best option. Some guilds still run TBC raid tiers, and you could pick up some nice swag that would otherwise be disenchanted, but it also means you'll have to talk to people, and for WoW nerds, that's the hardest boss of all. It's still a good idea though, maybe you'll make a friend. Overall, the community is quite open and welcoming, so if if you're after a more tight-knit crowd, Classic is the play. Professions are another big focus in Classic, and I've spent a hell of a lot of time on mine. The time you put into them actually feels like it's worth it, and at the end you can try and make some gold selling your services, or selling yourself if you're strapped for cash. Farming in the open world might be a challenge with the amount of players around giving some serious competition, but my solution is to be a druid so you can grab the herds and fuck off before anyone even sees you. When Wrath arrives, it brings a whole bunch of new stuff to do, a big one being the achievement system. As a completionist, I'm looking forward to hearing that achievement noise as much as possible, and with everyone trying to do the same, finding groups shouldn't be a problem. There might be less to do in Classic compared to Retail, but more of it is actually relevant, and with the big boost and more casual content coming in Wrath, there is more on offer. There's also the fact that it's a solved game, with everything, barring some of the more impactful changes, already known and available online, such as raid bosses, tactics, biss lists, talent trees, and all future content. The counter to that is, of course, it is 12 years later, and we play the game very differently now. Seeing old challenges through the lens of the modern gamer continues to produce new ideas and gameplay. Alts are harder to level and maintain, meaning you might only have one or two, or nine or ten if you do nothing but play WoW all day, and server balance is a problem that probably won't be fixed anytime soon, with mega servers for Horde and Alliance dominating most realms. For world PvP fans it might be a downer, but the problem has persisted basically since launch and is not exclusive to Classic. Overall, Classic is a good choice for anyone who has spent a long time away from the game. It's more familiar ground than the significantly different game retail has evolved into. Convenience may be lacking, but it is easier for an old WoW mind to get back into. Retail is a very different game compared to Classic, from the world itself to the default UI. Anyone who prefers faster, more reactive gameplay will enjoy Retail more than Classic, and this is the main reason I swap between the two. Retail has two additional classes, Monk and Demon Hunter, and Dragonflight brings the Evoker. With each spec being quite different, it's easy to find something you can enjoy. Trying out new classes and alts are way easier to get up and running, first because leveling is much much quicker, and second because of the various catch-up systems in place and account-wide progression, with Ian mentioning that they want to try and get much more account-wide progression in Dragonflight. The raids and dungeons are more complex and challenging, with even dungeon bosses having more mechanics than most classic raids. The different raid difficulties allow challenging fights for most skill levels, and LFR for anyone who thinks Beast Mastery is a complicated spec. And Dragonflight sees the return of group loot for guilds, meaning they will once again be able to organise loot distribution. Mythic Plus now has a score system built in, so similar to PvP raising, pushing your score is a nice goal to give yourself, and having a large one is fun to wave around, just like Dragonflight brings with it eight brand new dungeons, but also includes more older dungeons remade for the modern game mode, with the pool rotating each season. This means the available loot pool will also be rotating to keep things fresh. Season 4 of the Shadowlands launched just under a month ago, bringing with it a new type of Mythic Plus experience and experiments to the regular raiding format and gearing. If you want more information about Season 4, you can watch this video with an awesome thumbnail. For anyone who loves having more character customization, Final Fantasy has a boob slider, but Retail does have significantly more options than Classic, as well as many more races to choose from. And Dragonflight like brings with it the Drakthir, which have hundreds of new customization options as Blizzard keeps reminding us. Along the cosmetic line, retail players don't have to suffer the cursed character screens of Classic, being able to transmog their gear appearance. For the casual player base, collections can be a great activity, with new and old content to work through to collect pets, toys, and mounts. Just ignore this Elegon mount I got accidentally. Retail content is also new, and it always will be. Aside from leaks, we don't know what comes next, which means there's always that excitement of new announcements, new features, raids, patches, and anything else they decide to throw in. And in general, retail has a lot of streamlining 
and quality of life features that either don't fit into Classic or are replicated with add-ons. And all of this is good, but Retail does have its problems. A lot of the changes the player base are relying on to fix the game won't be coming until Dragonflight, which is at least three to four months. And if you aren't into the big pillars of Endgame, raiding PvP and Mythic Plus, there's only so much old world collecting you can do before it starts getting a little dull. Retail is overall a good game to play, but currently lacking the meaningful content outside of its endgame pillars, and Dragonflight is still a good 3-4 months away. And that brings us to the final question for you to decide. Which WoW should you play? There's a load of reasons to play both, but personally, I'm playing Classic. I will definitely be playing Dragonflight when it arrives to see what it's like and try to do the raid if I can. Hopefully you found this video useful in deciding which side of WoW you want to return to. Like and subscribe for more, or if you enjoyed, I'll catch you in the next one.